Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be looking at the easiest IMO problem ever, in my opinion. This comes from the very first IMO back in 1959, which was sat in Romania, and this is question one. So it's the first IMO problem ever. Um, if you don't know what the IMO is, it stands for International Mathematical Olympiad, and it's sat by the best young mathematicians across the globe. So here is the problem. We want to prove that 21n plus 4 divided by 14n plus 3 is irreducible for all n uh, positive integers n. So irreducible, just in case you don't know, it means that the top and bottom of your fraction share no factors. So this is reducible, because we can write that as 2 divided by 1. But something like 3 over 22 is irreducible, because 3 and 22 share no factors. So if you want to pause the video now and have a go at this problem yourself, please do. And I'll go over a solution. It's very short, which is uh, unlike a stereotypical IMO problem. Okay. So this problem here that we have is equivalent to showing that the greatest common divisor of 21n plus 4 and 14n plus 3 is 1. We want to show they share no factors, which means they're co-prime. Okay, well suppose d is a positive integer that divides 21n plus 4 and also d divides 14n plus 3. I want to show that d is therefore 1 and thus we have this statement here, and we solve the problem. Well, if d divides 21n plus 4, then certainly it divides 2 times that number. So d divides 2 times 21n plus 4. Well, that thing there is just 42n plus 8. Okay, and I can apply a similar argument here. If d divides this number, then certainly it divides 3 times this number. So d divides... 42n plus 9. Okay, but also it divides these two numbers here, so certainly it divides the difference. So then if I do this number minus this number, I have that d divides 42n plus 9, 42n plus 9, minus 42n plus 8, 8. But obviously the 42n's cancel, and I'm just left with 9 minus 8, so I have that d divide 1. But d is a positive integer, so it must be that d equals 1. Okay, and that's sort of the end of the problem. We've shown that if there's a factor, a common factor of these two numbers, then if you just look at this thing here, we, add, we showed that if it divides this, then it must divide double that. If it divides this, then it must divide triple that. Then if, because it divides these two numbers, it divides their difference. Hence, it divides 1. But it's a positive integer, so it must be 1. Um, and therefore, the greatest common divisor of these two numbers here is 1. And that's the problem solved in, what, 2 minutes? Um, I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. If you have, please like and please subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next one. Have a great day.